Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. It was a bit of spring training for all six crew members on board this week. They took part in an emergency simulation with Mission Control in Houston and in Moscow. The crew rehearsed where to shelter if the station ever goes through a rapid depressurization event. And Terry Burtz and Samantha Cristoforetti got some practice time in with Canada Arm 2, the station's robotic arm, which they'll use to reach out and grab the SpaceX Dragon cargo ship set to launch next week. Did you know there's an entire population of microbes living inside and outside your body? Well, there is, and these tiny organisms can have a big effect on your health. The Microbiome Experiment is one of the focuses of the one-year mission, and it studies how the balance of microbes in a crew member's body changes when living in space. These minute creatures play an important role in how our bodies function, from helping us absorb nutrients to altering how well our immune system works. Studying changes in their behavior can help us prepare future astronauts for working in the extreme environment of space. This week, Brian wants to know what one item or area of Earth astronauts are most drawn to. Well, one spectacle that was a favorite of Canadian astronaut Chris Hatfield and is a recent fixation for current Commander Terry Virts is thunderstorms. Many astronauts that have spent a few months staring at Earth have talked about how remarkable the lightning inside of storms and the cloud formations themselves look from orbit. In fact, Terry Virts recently shared a series of storms he captured even getting some mind-blowing images from Typhoon Maysac. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week.